Hi everyone. I hope things are slowing down for you a little bit and you're enjoying the long daylight despite the January weather. The sun will come back, I'm sure. I'm on campus today recording our message for the online graduation on June 23rd at 10 a.m. I hope many of you will join in to celebrate our graduating students and the faculty who supported them in their journey in this most unusual year. Today I'm going to talk about three things. A few highlights from applied research, communicating with current and potential students who are considering their options for fall, and I'll introduce this week's special guest from the School of Business. Although I know these are challenging times, I'm encouraged there's always something to celebrate here at BCIT. I'll share just a couple of examples from our applied research team, and I know there's also many others throughout our schools and teams. My congratulations to Nancy Paris, Director of MAKE, and Dr. Paula Brown. Both have been included in the list of experts in the PPE for the province of BC. Quite an achievement. If you haven't had a chance to read the latest applied research newsletter, I suggest you do so. It includes stories of other team members' successes, links to a paper to help determine the effectiveness of face shield design, and a timely guide to face masks, including how to use them and make them. My thanks to the entire Applied Research team for your ongoing innovative and important work. With many students now off for the summer, I also wanted to touch base on what we're doing to encourage students to come back to BCIT and to connect with potential new students for fall. Lisa Collins, our Vice President of Students, is coordinating a range of activities to maintain the stability of BCIT's student enrollments, focused around three key themes. Quality, our first, our commitment to ongoing educational excellence regardless of the delivery model. Secondly, clarity, how instruction and services will be delivered. And confidence, ensuring our students know they will be safe and they will be able to complete their credential with us. Student recruitment activities include virtual communications, information sessions, recruitment fairs, and visits as well as extended phone hours, chat technology, and other focused initiatives. It's a key priority area for us and a focus now for the summer. Finally, I have the pleasure of introducing this week's guest, Trish Albino a School of Business faculty member who instructs financial management and accounting degree students. Trish will talk about the importance of creativity when adapting online lessons and some of the challenges she overcame in maintaining integrity and security while administrating online exams. I'll see you next week for my last weekly video update before we take a little video hiatus until sometime in August. Have a great weekend, everyone. And now let's hear from Trish. Thanks, Kathy. Since being notified that BCIT would be fully online beginning in mid-March, our full-time and part-time studies faculty quickly recalibrated their materials for online delivery, in some cases within just a few short days. The faculty were suddenly faced with doing a combination of live sessions using the virtual classroom in the Learning Hub or Zoom and pre-recorded sessions using various tools available online. In the absence of a physical classroom, we had to get creative in illustrating our examples, many of which require a detailed walkthrough with complex calculations. There was a steep learning curve to overcome given some of these tools were new to many of us. At the same time, maintaining a connection with our students and keeping them engaged was of great importance. It was a challenge to ensure we appropriately examined our students, recognizing that the online environment was less than ideal, while also maintaining the security and integrity of our exam content. To accomplish this, we utilized the security features within the Learning Hub, as well as some online proctoring services. We also used online resources provided by our textbook publishers for students to demonstrate their knowledge in an exam setting. Although many of us were suddenly placed outside of our comfort zone, I believe it initiated a positive change to the learning environment for the future. I hope you're all staying safe and well.